Hi, my name is Rhys Whitehead, Associate Director at Quadrant Building Control. Earlier this year, the government introduced new permitted development rights to encourage the provision of housing through the construction of additional storeys to existing buildings. Building regulations will need to be considered when carrying out such projects. Often, work will also be necessary on existing parts of the building that's been extended. From a structure perspective, under Building Regulations Requirements A3 concerning disproportionate collapse, it's possible that adding storeys will change the consequence class of the building. This would require a higher level of robustness for the building. Robustness measures can be quite technical, but basically relate to the strength of the connections within the building. You would need to discuss this with a structural engineer. Further useful guidance on disproportionate collapse can be found in the article below. When adding new storeys to a building, there will be three main fire safety points to consider. Under Regulation B1, means of escape from any new storey through the existing building will need to meet current building standards. This may require changes to parts of the existing building. In taller, mixed-use buildings, works may be required to separate staircases for residential and non-residential use. Secondly, under changes to Part B from November 2020, if a new storey increases the height of a building to above 11 metres, sprinklers will be required in all new and existing residential units in the building. Third, when a new storey increases the height of a building to above 18 metres, the existing external wall construction will need to be surveyed. Work may be necessary to ensure that both the new walls and the existing walls meet the 2020 requirements relating to combustible materials. In these cases, external walls and specified attachments must only contain materials which achieve European Class A1 or A2. Materials which do not achieve that minimum standard will have to be removed or replaced as part of the building work. In addition, the fire resistance of the whole structure will need upgrading in accordance with Table B4 in Approved Document B, Volume 1. For more details on Part B changes, we'd recommend that you watch our short Part B video, which is linked in the article below. The Government has also published some frequently asked questions regarding the requirements relating to external wall construction, and these are also linked below. Every development where new stories are being added to a building will have individual challenges, and a specialist report from a fire engineer or a structure engineer may be required. There may also be specific requirements regarding part L, ventilation and acoustics and sound testing. So always consult with your building control project manager at your earliest opportunity. Whilst these permitted development rights offer new opportunities to increase the residential capacity of a building, the safety of its occupants must always be of the highest priority. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please contact us on the number below.